You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 22. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of this I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Hey there, may you all have a delightful day. St. Matthew tells us about an excellent young man asking Jesus what else he could do to gain eternal life. I say good man because when Jesus tells him to observe the commandments, he claims to be acting on them so far. He tells Jesus, I have kept all this. What do I still lack? Then, comes the most challenging invitation of Jesus to do something drastic, which puts off the young man. He must have been a wealthy guy and giving up all his possessions and giving them to the poor took a lot of work. So he turned his back and left. Some may not be wealthy or even average in life, while others may find themselves in poverty. However, Jesus' invitation to let go of something we hold dear in exchange for authentic happiness both in this life and in the next is universal. It may be challenging, but it also promises a deeper, more fulfilling spiritual journey. The young man's story speaks of great wealth of something material. We may not possess vast sums of money or expensive properties, expensive cars, jewelry, and other significant assets that are difficult to part with. But Jesus might also ask us to let go of something more personal, something that hinders our peace with God. It could be our pride, our need for control, or our fear of vulnerability. Let us take a moment to deeply reflect. Is there something that Jesus is asking me to let go of so that I can foster harmony with my family members, co-workers, and neighbors? Could it be my self-righteousness, my self-importance? Or why don't I struggle to dedicate quality time to my family? Is it because I am overtly attached to my virtual friends, social circles, and gadgets, prioritizing them over my family? Or why don't I find it challenging to contribute to charitable ministries, even if I have the means? 
Or why do I often feel on edge, angry and defensive, lacking peace of mind and heart? Is Jesus urging me to relinquish my self-centeredness, to embrace humility and seek reconciliation with my enemies? I like that statement from Sacred Space. To follow Jesus, we need to shake off anything that binds us or any shackles that imprison us. Wealth, friends, success, and all we often desire in life can either bring us close to God or distance us from God and from our true self. Let us think about this. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day. Music